contest tonight. So we're going to sing the Pucket of Wagon song. Arson? Arson. Oh, Tisla. Arson? Arson. Ah. Warm up to the. I went. A two. A three. A four. Pucket of Wagon. Pucket of Wagon. That's where we come from. Pucket of Wagon. Pucket of Wagon. That's where we was born. This Missy River comes from Montreal Lake, and the river ends still Port Churchill. Bucket wagon, bucket wagon, that's where we was born. Ah, tagos. House, no ray house. I was here six years ago. I won the flower packing contest back then. You know how I won it? I cooked all the I cooked all the flour and packed all the panic and took it home. Nah. Nah. That way. Nobody can can beat me. One thousand pounds I get back here and one thousand pounds that way. That way slow get it up in. Welcome all the fiddlers from uh, Mantu CP, God Lake Narrows, uh, from Thompson, from West Island, and then from also the north side of Norway. All house. over northern, uh, northern Manitoba. I want to say hello to Cross Lake. Hello, Cross Lake. <laughs> nice. I got this. I got I got that Sonori house. Kika get to know how deep we. Ouch. Can I ask, man? I used to, I used to be a voyager. Because the man in Gay City, man. Because the man from uh, Fort Churchill to the Rocky Mountains in Alberta. Can you meet the Yakup Gagi? Meet it to go meet this belt. This, uh, oh, okay. Uh, I'm on Atchamon. I went up to go. I did. I did. Atchamon. Do you know I have my crow feathers? This is a crow headdress. But you know. You know, go so. Taga. Taga with feathers, too. Do you know what a crow eats? Much. Garbage. No, that's it, huh? Stop, eh? Raise your hand if you drink Pepsi, uh, Coca Cola, 7 Up, chips, pop, chocolate bars. How many do you eat chips, eh? Ouch! Well, you guys, well, you guys eat garbage. You guys, well, you guys are crows. Do you eat garbage? Ah, do I know? I know. I know. So I see we meet. So check pizza, 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 pops. And you line up for a hamburger for one hour over here in Norway House. Ah, I got me any of those young couples. They eat all kinds of itchy pan. Ask them. Be with you, and I'll cook your itchy pan. Yeah, well, Kayas need and give me big ways on Musa in Pacamoco. I tell them up or at you then we got to start the show. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Mama Tawis and don't be scared. If you haven't gone to Las Vegas, I'll show you Mama Tawis and Umago. I do amazing. How much, man? Much. Ah, Tito, man. Ah, no, no, we got this time. Tito. Can I help me? Wait. Why now we got tea now? No. How the ah group it too, man? Ah, the ah group it. Oh, we got tea now. How tea? How you got it? Tea. All the tea is sick. All the tea is sick. Tea got amazing. Huh? Huh? All the tea is sick. Don't be scared. That's why. Right. That's why it's my chief. Don't be scared. My master was here going, you know, get my gun. Ah, that's a ticket. Sick egg man and one to the only the twenty sagas good to learn each other. Hey, go see what I got to the way to this. Turn up, my master, I see her. So, which in the sagas is going to be shut this out at the stage man. Talk a little boy and sagas good to learn. How it's in Jordan? I was there. I don't 
Ei, 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 ei. Ah, vai ter mais. Agora você está tão escata. Olha. Aí está aqui, mas tem algo assim. Vai estar aqui, tira a tábua no meio, né? Mas tem mais postes, tá? Vai, olha esse estagado. Ei, 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 você não vai me... Não vai me dizer, não vai. Não vai, não vai, não vai, não vai, não vai. Ai, 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 você. Ai, você, tu te mete. Como te disse, não, antes de ligar, vem lá, me lá, o tito, 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 lá, o tito. Y pito está ahí, machas que go y gan y usa washroom out there, so we bought a slopeo. Okay, eh, ego se ha gusta. Hasta pita está mezco ego y dene o que ego se. Ah, pata que está. Ah, venga, se ni chau, era. Cague no va a metna on, me duele, este en York Pau, te hice peta, cos na ni pema o enigue han. Agua y yo me hago esta matna, o ay, y yo en el pie esta maga, o ya na, y yo a san, o a negas que se nigo se. Eh, eh. Ok, we'll see you at the halftime show. Halftime show, go up midnight. Nanatta, go on. Thank you for... Thank you once again, Ken and is it Kelsey? Thank you. Give a round of applause for our friends from Paketawagen. Okay, as we get ready for our singing competition, adults, could I have the following to the stage left here? Allison King, Diane Wilson, Clayton Ross, Eagle Robinson, Jewel Sullivan, Donovan Ross, Olivia McLeod, Caitlin Francois, Lyle North, and Wayne Lavalley. Can you please make your way to the uh, stage left here and line up the way I've announced you? Allison King, Diane Wilson, Clayton Ross. Eagle Robinson, Jewel Sullivan, Donovan Ross. Olivia McLeod, Caitlin Francois, Lyle North, and Wayne Lavalley. First 10 contestants, please come up to the stage left here. We're going to get going here very shortly, but we got a couple of uh, things to do here before we get going. As I've said before, this is our first annual Edward Gamblin Memorial Talent Showcase. I know the family have been wondering what, uh, what's been going on. We've had people coming up to the stage and inquiring. We're going to get the band to do one of Edward's songs here, so we don't forget that. Uh, we're going to feature one of his uh, favorite songs, and uh, we'll get the band to do that. That's before we start our competition. You like my uh, jacket or my... This was gifted to me two years ago by... Beverly Kweski Capo and the family. Beverly is the uh, sister of late Edward Gamlin, so tonight it was appropriate for me to wear this beautiful jacket. I love it. People have been trying to buy it off me, but I'm going, Mats, this is, has a lot of sentimental value to me. Because I used to play uh, drums for late Edward Gamblin at the old band hall days when his drummer didn't show up. I got behind the drums and I jammed with this guy. It was great. But these are guys, they won't let me jam. I don't know. I think I'm too old now. But anyway, uh, the uh, prize money for the Edward Gamblin Memorial Talent Showcase was sponsored by Norway House Communications. Our local radio station approached them, and they agreed to sponsor because they play a lot of Edward songs, still very popular on the radio, and NCI as well, and all over the place. So if we can get all the contestants uh, checked in and getting ready here, we can uh, pretty much start. The uh, prize money for the Edward Gamblin Memorial Open Singing Competition, first, 2,500, second, 2,000, 
third 1500, fourth 1000, fifth 900, sixth 800, seventh 700, and eighth 600 bucks. So we have eight prizes with a lot of money to be won here tonight. And uh, we'll get our judges to start getting ready. I think uh, I see one here. And we'll get our two youth from last night's uh, winners to come up here as well. We also have a uh, crowd favorite award that we put in this year. We, uh, as a lot of you know, uh, our late friend Alex Chuhalcro passed away, and uh, he was a drummer. He played with Edward a few times, and um, you know we wanted to acknowledge both artists and uh, the AJ. Alcro Memorial Crowd Favorite Award is going to be judged by you guys. Okay, crowd favorite. If you like somebody that you're that's singing, we want you to be loud, and uh, that's how they'll be judged with the response. So, okay, that's the AJ Alec Joe Halcro Memorial Crowd Favorite Award, and that's five hundred dollars, five hundred bucks. Okay, so you're going to be part of the judging here tonight. It's your turn to judge. So we've got a lot of good things happening here this evening, and uh, we'll get the band ready here. We're going to get going here very shortly. The contestants, don't run away. Come to the stage, because you're called once, called twice, called three times. Good night. See you next year. Not my rules. <laughs> Committee rules. Everybody's looking at me. Boy, that man's uh, old man is crazy. <laughs> How's everybody enjoying the uh, festivities so far? Youth Talent Showcase last night. Did you guys love that? Oh, wow, that was awesome. Our youth are so talented and so beautiful. So um, thank you. OK, we're not going to start doing this, but I'll do it one more time. Vehicle license plate number. HMF 423, your car is in the way. Get out of the way. <laughs> That's what it says here. I'm just reading this stuff. It's not mine. Okay, please uh, give yourselves some room if you're parked. Don't park behind a vehicle that's not going to get out because we'll be reading out license plates number all night. And at that time, I will call the tow truck company and do the job for us. Nah, just kidding. Okay. Where are these band guys? Can we get the band up here so we can get started on some of the stuff that we need to do prior to the contest? Okay, we're missing two band members. <laughs> I don't know where the heck they are, but uh, we can't start the show without them. So um, I'm going to invite uh, Ken, Ken Biggity, and Kelsey to entertain us while we wait for our... They're going to be helping out tonight. You're not going to be listening to me all night like you did the last five nights and one more night to go. <laughs> All right, Ken, come on, entertain the crowd. No dirty jokes. Just clean ones. Okay. And, and no jokes about counselors, right. only the chief. Ah, right. just kidding. <laughs> All right, I'll put this up first. Hello. My name is Ken Biggity. I am from Puckettawagan, Manitoba. I want to welcome everybody here to the uh, 2021 York Boat Days. Boy, so there's a slight little delay, just like uh, there's a mixture of Indian time here. There's Norway House time, Cross Lake time, Oxford House time, God's Lake time, and then there's Indian time. So we're right in between there somewhere. So, you know, we had a uh, COVID just come out this past year. Boy, I the guys. Boy, you're told to uh, wear a mask, cover up. Let me grab my mask, you said. The whole society, the whole world say, cover up. 
Why everybody's covering up? Why when it came down to our reserves? Matthew, cover up your mouth. Do you know that the Native people had the highest COVID rate cases in all of the whole world on a per capita basis? You know why? Said, hey, cover your mouth. As soon as they come in, hey, did you hear about Norway House? Ah. <laughs> right away. Okay, the I white people. I gotta cover my mouth. Yeah. And then when you tell them a joke, ah, 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 ah. And go, cover your mouth. How was? Ah. That's why we uh, why we had the highest cases of COVID cases in the reserve. In Bahagit Tonya, big mouths. We say, how was? Ah. Oh, hold on. Recycle. <laughs> so anyways, uh, uh, they're saying, uh, don't uh, take off your mask Saturday. Are you crazy? Still 100 cases in Winnipeg. Got to take your vaccines. So when you go to Winnipeg, you'll just you'll run into those people downtown, wear a mask. <laughs> so when they put on a mask, so you got to wear your mask as soon as you take it off. Holy, I just remembered you still look ugly. <laughs> a, lot of break is, a lot of breakups uh, happened over the COVID cases, eh? There was couples. Go to the store. Go to the northern. Go, go buy some stuff. As soon as the husband walked out. Tuk, 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 tuk. My husband is out. He needs to isolate 14 days away from me. <laughs> That's what you guys did all year, too. Eh? So make sure you have your, uh, your, uh, your vaccines and uh, your sanitizers. Because once you come down the highway, uh, they chuck up on you. They ask me, did you get your vaccines? Yep. The next guy comes. Did you get your doses? Yeah, I had all my STD doses. What about you? <laughs> you don't say doses. Uh, you say vaccine. So anyways, they're watching from all over the world. We're on YouTube Live. They're watching from Winnipeg. My mom is watching from uh, Pagadawagan, Manitoba. Teresa Biggity, she's 82 years old. She was on uh, APTN. She was 82. She had... I want to say hello to her. Also want to say hello to all the people in Winnipeg, Manitoba that are watching on YouTube Live. I also want to say hello to some Japanese people that are watching YouTube Live. Wow. Okay, I want to say hello to the French people. Hello, you French people. I want to thank you for watching Europe Days Live 2021. I hope you understand me. It's a little bit of French that I know. There goes shit. So anyways, we have a lot of people over here. And all you got to do is uh, just don't go... <laughs> just, just, you know, fist pound. So I see a lot of people still wearing masks, which is good. I'll be wearing my mask too. I bought a sanitizer. And uh, we'll have a great show tonight. We have uh, people from, uh, that were on York Boat Days that come from all over the reserve. And with Mr. Sagahigan, so they paddled over here as well too. Seen some people from God's Lake Narrows, Matuisipi, some people from Bonaby, some people were lifting flour over there. Pretty, pretty amazing. So uh, we also put, uh, posted a thing on YouTube. So we did an intro with YouTube. So if you go on YouTube, you can check that out. So we're going to have a great show. I'm going to be uh, co-hosting and helping out with Anthony over here tonight. And then we're going to have a lot of wonderful singing. Today, how, oh yeah, one of the songs was... I swear your love will last forever And that I will always call you mine But when family allowance is over It's going to end forever And then when family allowance starts I will love you more <laughs> That's the Ernest Monias Reserve First Version. Uh, he forgot to say, ever sick. Uh. 
All right. I think we're almost. Okay, I got another two hours of uh, over here. <laughs> See, how do you take this mic off? Jeez, God. But the light is over here. So, Norway House, can I hear Norway House scream? And Cross Lake? Pagadawagan? <laughs> Let's do that. Uh, where's Oxford House? Woo! All right. <laughs> where's God's Lake? Hi, God's Lake. I can. Yeah. <laughs> I'm over here. <laughs> I'm too shy. I'll take off my teeth. <laughs> All right. Where is Matu CP? Huh? Too cold. Okay, everybody just say, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Everybody scream. Wow, oh, mole, that sounds awesome. So tonight you're gonna, you're gonna be sitting down and then you're gonna breathe like this and you're gonna get cold. So at some point in time, I wanna get you guys to stand up, jig, run around, go outside. Some of you are gonna be so hot, you're gonna jump in that lake and you're gonna, oh, just hot to all the men. Because some of you just stink, all right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Do you know, a couple of days ago, it was really smoky here. Boy, it was so sad. I, I walked into a Norway house. This old lady was looking at me with lard. What's, what's wrong? You smell like dried moose meat. Mm. <laughs> and I looked at my brother, Kelsey. Is that you, you smell like dried fish? Hey, you smell good. <laughs> I had my uh, KFC cologne all over me. So, anyways, that's how you uh, you uh, get, uh, smell good. You have colognes, so it smell like dried moose meat after a while. A lot of smoke, which is okay. So, um, with uh, last year, with the COVID, we're still on it. Don't let your guard down. All right. So once you get your needle, check with your partner. If you meet her, if you meet somebody new, okay, we can have hickeys this week. So it's uh, hickeys are on, almost two more months, we can have hickeys. I did see a couple of hickeys over here with some of the, there's some visitors coming, come here. I gotta tag you. My dear, what's I'm okay. So, yeah, she's mine. Three big letters over here. So, we're going to have a good time tonight. You're the first crowd. So, we're going to have a, a, yeah, a fantastic time. I need to do... Uh, so, uh, I want to say hello to uh, all the visitors out there from Norway House that are watching from uh, all over the world. I need a favor from you guys. I need... Raise your hands like this. Some of you raise your hands like that. And then some of you raise your hands like that. How? Oh. Hold up your hands. Yes. Higher. All right. All right, put your hands together. Okay, it looks like I had a standing ovation. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm going to post it. Okay. Now I'm going to go on uh, Tisca. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to put this on my Facebook page. All right. Can everybody scream? All right. Boy, 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 all right, I think we're almost ready to go. The judges are ready. They use the washroom. They won't be sit standing up for the next three hours. They'll be sitting there. And if they need to use the washroom, we'll bring a little pail. Washrooms are over there. Women's washrooms are ready. Uh, there's 300 rolls of toilet paper. We're not going to run out. Girls' washroom, there's 600 rolls of toilet paper. We're ready. I think we're almost ready, Anthony. All right. 
Okay, thank you very much. Ken, Ken from uh, Pagetawagan. That's where he was born, that's where he comes from. He gets all his energy from uh, click and crap dinner. That's what he told me anyway. I said probably click and bologna and macaroni. Anyway, we're just about ready to go here. Uh, the boys in the band have uh, made their entrance and we've got a long night ahead of us. We have 25 singers, 25? Yeah, now we're gonna do some uh, honoring here first before we get going. Welcome uh, to everybody, especially the family of late Edward Gamblin. You're sitting in the crowd, uh, remembering all the great tunes that the guy played, all the good old band hall days, all the good old days, you know, it was well worth it to uh, pay tribute to the guy. He's been gone for a while now and it took us this long to pay tribute to one, one of the pioneers of uh, Aboriginal music. You go any place, every, the bands are playing Edward Gamblin music. So, uh, perfect night to honor the fellow. We have some other stuff that's uh, going to be happening later on. We have some royalty in the crowd. I see uh, Chief Anderson sitting with Mike. I also see his wife. I thought I saw Dion here. Councillor Clark, are you here? Councillor Jeb, there. Councillor James is somewhere in the crowd. They'll be here. I made sure I told them to come and uh, be here this evening. So I'm just going to quickly say hello to a um, couple of people that have sent me text. Hello from Granny Dorian in the Pa, watching YouTube. Too bad I couldn't be there to bug you. Enjoying every minute of your shows. Give Beatles a big kiss for me. I'll get Sheila Crane to do that for you, Granny. By the way, it's Sheila's birthday today. He's got, probably going to get a hickey. Uh, probably from Ken. <laughs> We're going to sing happy birthday to Sheila a little bit later on. There's a couple of other people that have sent me birthday greetings, but uh, we'll get to them. Okay, you somewhat look good-looking guys. Are you about ready to put the fingers to the strings and get going here? He's almost here. He, who's almost here? Ryan. Oh, we can do it without Ryan. I'll wait for Ryan. So, um, I want to thank uh, Joyce Osborne. I talked to her last year about... Uh, doing the Edward Gamblin Memorial Talent Showcase, and uh, she talked to her family and they agreed. But unfortunately, because of COVID, we could not uh, go ahead with the event. So this year, we have 25 singers. I want to thank Nora House Communications, Specke, for uh, putting the cash together. We have three judges. If I can see that far, I'll be able to recognize these judges that are going to be put to the test. The rain man himself, Hector Mino. Hector, wave your... Put that middle finger down. I didn't say you'd do that. Nah, just kidding. That's Hector Mino, one of our judges. Janice Miswagen is also another one of our judge. And is that Derek? Derek Dick from Mosian, he's going to be another one of our judges. But we also need your help, crowd. We have a crowd favorite award tonight, J.J. Halcro Memorial Crowd Favorite Award. We want you to be the judges. Yelling, screaming for your favorite singer, the best singer you can find. It's worth $500 to the singers. Okay, so we'll do that and... Um, Tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow morning, it's the square dance competition right here on the stage. Registration is at 10 o'clock. Dancing grand entry will start at 12. We're going to start on 12 and take in. First prize in the adults and the intermediate category is 16,000. Second is eight. Third is four. Juniors, nine to 12, three to one thousand dollar. Children, eight and under. 800, 700, 600, 
40 plus, 3,000, 2,000, 1,000. So remember, you got to register, and the registration start at 10 o'clock. Grand entry will, will start at 12. And the judging, I mean, the dancing will be done on the main stage here. We have lots of room here, so that's tomorrow. 12 o'clock, right after that, we're going to do our monster bingo, the Machipanwin monster bingo, 6 o'clock. I think it starts at 6, and then we have a stage show here tomorrow evening. We have a, a, a group out of OCN, Low Budget Rockstar, and a group out of Saskatchewan, Black Rain. I'm going to end the evening off with a fantastic fireworks show, I've been told. We've invested a lot of money. Our, one of our sponsors has given us a lot of money to have a good fireworks show. Speaking of sponsors, I want to thank Kanasevi CP Ministry and Agency, Gaming Commission, Norway House Communications, Fisherman's Co-op, Northern Stores, Machipanwin Program, JNR Construction, Square Dance Club, Health Center of Excellence, Manitoba Hydro, Playgreen Inn, Terry Turbo, King of Finance, Family Foods, and Frontier School Division. Thank you for sponsoring. Just a little bit more information here. I've got to keep talking till these guys get ready here. Sunday afternoon, after our closing ceremonies, you're invited by Chief and Council to come and have supper with us. Behind here in the cookout, there's going to be uh, ribs, beans, coleslaw, and bannock. That's the menu on Sunday, so we invite you to join us, and that's sponsored by JNR and Sigfitson Construction. We have enough food for 500 people, so it should be enough. We don't, and uh, whoever's left over gets white beans and bannock, I guess, or macaroni, whatever we have. But we'll feed you, we'll feed you. Again, hurry up, man. Band's not ready. <laughs> Somebody's heckling me over there. Security. <laughs> All right. Once again, the following contestants, if you're not already on this side here, Allison King, Diane Wilson, Clayton Ross, Eagle Robinson, Jewel Sullivan, Donovan Ross, Olivia McLeod, Caitlin Francois, Lyle North, and Wayne LaValle. Stage left here. We have some seats set up. We're still missing some contestants here, so kindly make your way up here, please, because once we get going, we're going to call your name, and if you're not here, we're going to call your name again. If you're not here, good night, sleep tight, sorry. You snooze, you lose. All right, that's the way it's going to be. All right, gentlemen, showtime. So last night we had our youth talent showcase. So we're gonna feature our two winners from last night, the female category and the male category winners to start the show off. It was a fantastic show, it was a great. It's good to see our young people singing and entertaining us. So uh, we're going to bring on our female winner from last night. Keyboards. All right, it was guys. going. I think we just lost our front house. <laughs> no, we are not. Kira Barrett was our winner in the female category last night. And I mistakenly introduced her from Fisher River. She lives in Fisher Branch, right? Hey, now I got it right. I was corrected out there and believe me, was not intentional. She has a t-shirt on that, uh, the king of the north. So I told her, You're, you can't come and sing with that t-shirt on here. <laughs> Just kidding. But uh, she's a very uh, beautiful voice. Very um, nice young lady that's graced our stage here for about, I don't know, six years. Yeah. Seen her grown up from a little girl to a young adult and 
She'll be moving on into the adult category next year. But thank you for your years of uh, entering our Youth Talent Showcase. So we're ready to go, I think. We're going to put these guys to the test one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please make welcome Ms. Kira Barrett to perform for us this evening. I hope you guys like my t-shirt. I wore it just for you. Kukum Steeler. <laughs> Before I cheat. It's a winner from last night. Keep going. Ready when you guys are. <laughs> Blonde tramp and she's probably getting frisky right now. He's probably buying her some fruity little drink cause she can't shoot a whiskey right now. He's probably up behind her with a pool stick showing her how to shoot a combo. That selfie didn't work quite too well last night, so let's go do the selfie again. Deadly. Deadly. Couple of good-looking people there. Hey, she makes the picture herself. That picture could be worth millions when she gets her first contract. All right, that was Kira. 
Job well done. And a beautiful young lady, beautiful voice. All right, we're in for a treat now, boy. This guy's like 10 years old. He was our winner of our uh, adult category. No, the youth category last night. So, um, ready to go, Ashley? Ready to rock the crowd? I want to make sure I got his name right. Ashley Flett McKay, ladies and gentlemen. Where are you, the little guy? Come on up here and rock the crowd. Somebody help him with the mic. That a boy skills. That skills. He knows everything. Matsi. Loud and proud, Nori House. Ashley, good job, my boy. 
You know what? We can all go home now. Those two songs made the night. <laughs> hey, hey. All right, these two young people are very, very talented. And because this is the, this is the first Edward Gamblin Memorial Talent Showcase, we're going to feature one of his songs before we get into the uh, competition. I think it's appropriate to do that. So we'll get the, the, the sponsor, Norrie House Communications Manager, Clayton Dows, to do the song in honor of uh, late Edward Gamblin. I know there's family here. Christopher came up and a few other people have asked me if somebody was going to do a song. Yes, we are going to do a song and it's uh, going to be uh, one of his favorite songs. I believe it's called uh, Soldier Blue. Is that what you guys are doing? Soldier Blue. All right, good evening, Norway House. How about a big hand for those kids? Come on now, put your hands together. Very, very promising. That's the same little guy that last year that wowed us, or was not last year, sorry, the year before with uh, uh, I Won't Back Down. And he doesn't either. Okay, I am so honored to have been asked to uh, sing a song for, uh, or to honor Edward. Edward was a, was a good friend, and in the beginning, when we were first starting things off, he was very uh, full of advice, and uh, not, not criticism or anything like that, but if we needed advice, we knew where to go. A guy that had been in the business and helped bust open doors for Aboriginal artists. So, so thank you very much, Edward. Um, this was one of his... Uh, Probably one of his most well-known tunes, I think. Can I get the acoustic up in front here? Get back here too. There it is. Okay. All right. Once again, this one's called Soldier Blue. is 
Thank you very much. Check, check. Thank you very much there, Specky and Highway Boys. Leafs Nation! <laughs> Don't start that with me, man. I will so burn you. <laughs> Somebody actually sent me a bunch of jokes about Leafs Nation. But uh, why are we popping here? Anyway, Leafs Nation. I, oh, tomorrow we have a special guest coming into our community as well. What's his name? Keeper guy. Brady Keeper in the house tomorrow. Just outside the tent area, in between the pavilion. He will be um, doing a hockey kind of skills thing. And he's got draws for skates, sticks, and whatnot. So uh, come around and see Brady here. It'll be just in the area when we're doing square dancing. So Brady Keeper in the house here tomorrow. I guess he's a Vancouver Canuck now, eh, Mike? Mike, I have to ask you all these hockey questions because you have a lot of uh, trivia up there because everything kind of falls on Toronto Maple Leafs that haven't won for 50,000 years. <laughs> I'm going to walk out there and somebody's going to jump me. <laughs> I was just kidding. Toronto, Montreal... Not so much Boston. All good teams. All good entertainers. Anyway, I'm going to hand the microphone over to uh, my co-host tonight. He's going to help us out here because I've been talking too much and plan to talk way more in the next little while. Going to be hosting a couple of events here tomorrow, but uh, you know what? It's all in good. All right, Ken Biggity, please come on over here and, and uh, take over the mic here while I go find something to eat other than fries, burgers. Maybe I'll have some popcorn for supper. All right, Ken. Take over the mic and... Can I meet you Okay. Okay. Who's next, huh? All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The uh, fonts here are really big, so that's fantastic. So uh, we have uh, Allison. She's a private music teacher from the Interlake area. She's from Lundar. When you're slow down on the highway, follow the speed signs. She started talking, uh, taking music lessons as an adult, but learned how to play the piano and guitar as a child. I've had the privilege and uh, being with Kiera uh, Barrett's voice teacher. Tonight, Allison will be singing Angel by Sarah McLaughlin. Okay, they're doing a, it's a little chilly tonight. So, uh, uh, can you bring my jacket? Uh, so if you, uh, if you have long johns, I hope we had to put it on. Okay, hurry up. All right. Are we ready, Allison? Yep. Take it away. Good evening, Norway House. Um, Miss Paul, of whom most of you I think know, uh, invited me here 22 years ago and I finally made it and I feel like I've died and gone to heaven. It's so beautiful here and the people are amazing. So I'm... I'm really happy to be here tonight and uh, to sing for you. So I'm going to do Angel.
Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Alison King. All right, next is, uh, uh, while we get the piano out of there, and then uh, <coughs> I'm a little thirsty. I need my water. Go, go. It's my spotlight. All right. Our next contestant is Diane. Diane Wilson. She's uh, 35 years old. She's from Norway House Cree Nation. She's married with three beautiful children. She's a librarian at the Hebrick. Tonight, Diane will be singing Black Coffee by Lacey J. Dalton. Diane Wilson. Give her a second to uh Hello everybody. I'm just gonna dedicate this song to my family and to my children. I stopped singing a while ago and my kids have been um pushing me and they've been wanting to sing, so I'm back on the stage again for them. All right. Of the way that 
was Diane Wilson. Holy man, is just your head is just just awesome singing. Our uh, next contestant getting ready is uh, Clayton Ross. Clayton Ross is 32 years old. He's from Thompson, Manitoba. Has four beautiful children. Clayton would like to wish all the contestants good luck and stay safe. Tonight, Clayton will be singing We're Here for a Good Time by Trooper. Clayton Ross. And Clayton Ross is making his way up to the stage. He's giving me the thumbs up, giving me the snap of the finger. He's out there having, uh, enjoying the beautiful weather we're having out here in Norway House. The clouds are over here and the smoke's over here and a bad breath is right over here. So put on your masks. All right. Thanks, Alan. Thanks for the introduction. Are we house? In for a treat tonight. Let's take this party away. All right, boys, let's go. Good evening. All right. Holy man, that was super exciting using the whole stage. And if Elvis Presley was here, you ladies would come running, right? Especially that birthday girl right there. 
<laughs> my sister. All right. We're moving right along. We have 125 singers, so be ready to be here till 6 o'clock in the morning. All right. Our next sing singer is Eagle Robinson. Eagle is 18 years old from Cross Lake, Manitoba. She's li been living in Alberta for the past two years. She started singing at the age of six years old. She enjoys listening to Loretta Lynn, Johnny Cash, and many other old country singers. She'd like to wish all the contestants good luck and to have fun. Eagle will be singing Coal Miner's Daughter by Loretta Lynn. Eagle Robinson. Okay, well, since I heard it's on YouTube Live, I'd like to shout out to my auntie, Ray, and my mom, Mel, who is also my sponsor for tonight's showcase. Robinson. Hold on. I dropped my pen. Hey, I dropped my pen. Hurry up. Right there. Thank you. All right. That was Eagle Robinson. Our next contestant is Jewel Sullivan. Jewel is from Norway House. She is happy to be uh, uh, back to sing. She'd like to wish all the other contestants good luck and to have fun. 
Tonight, Jewel will be singing You Saved by uh, Lauren Daigle. Take it away, Jewel. And that was Jewel Sullivan. All right, if you're tuning on Facebook uh, Live from all over the world, you're tuning into York Boat Days 2021 here in Norway House, Manitoba. It is a beautiful place over here. There's 15,000 people in the audience. Boy, I can't see them way over there, too, all along the shoreline. There's hardly any room here. 
And if you're tuning on to Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, welcome. Our next contestant is Donovan Ross. Donovan is from Cross Lake, Manitoba. He is 25 years old and he's been singing for about five years. And he's been uh, playing music for about half his life. He, uh, he's a fan of both old and new country music. He is the VLT manager and employee at Pemichigamac Gaming Center, where he has been an employee for the last four years. We'd like to wish you all fellow contestants good luck and pleasure to share with Strange and all the wonderful people. Tonight, Donovan will be singing When It, when it Rains, It Pours by Luke Combs. Take it away, Donovan. Good evening, Arios. It's been nice to be back here. Nice to see some familiar faces again. Haven't been here in a while. Uh, just want to say hi to all my friends, family, and uh, I'm gonna say a special birthday greeting to my little buddy, Mr. Brent Duncan. Happy birthday. Sunday morning, man, she woke up. Scratch your ticket, bought two 12 packs and a tank of guys with it. She swore they were a waste of time, all but she was wrong. I was calling on the bounds on the radio station, one of four days, three nights, beach vacation. Big city, city, rain, fishing down a pack mall. And I got to see my excuse for another love. Donovan Ross. 
How's everybody doing so far? I don't think they heard you in Austria. How's everybody doing so far? Awesome. All right, we're on our seventh singer. Our next singer is Olivia. She's 28 years old. She's from Cross Lake, Manitoba. Been living in Winnipeg. Uh, she's soon to be married with the love of her life, Gary Wass Jr. They have three beautiful children. She started singing at a very young age. Her late auntie Ann Spider McKay inspired her to start singing. She'd like to will all, wish all the contestants good luck. Tonight, Olivia will be singing What's Up by Four Non Blondes. Hi, um, Lori House. I'd like to say hi to um, Edward Gamblin's family watching tonight. And I'd like to say hi to my mom and my auntie watching the crowd. Also, hi to the judges. And give a round of applause for Boreen Muskego for putting on good shows all the time. Good job, Maureen. And especially to the band. I like this band. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to dedicate this song um, to the late Mary Osborne. And yeah, the song's for you. My performance is for you tonight. So hope you guys enjoy it. Take it away, boys. Take a deep breath and I get real high at night Scream on top of my life 
get that big heel of home for a destination. Have a good night, Nori House. Enjoy the rest of the show. Awesome. I was just dancing back there in my little hut. Security, come and get my jacket here. Hurry up. All right. Everybody should get a handler. Holy smokes. All right. Our next contestant is uh, Clayton Francois. Clayton Francois is from Nelson House Cree Nation in Stowasi. She is 31 years old and is married with, uh, for 14 years with six children. She has a stay-at-home mom. She started singing at the age of eight years old. Her father was one who encouraged her to sing. She entered a talent showcase at six years old and met friends uh, along the way traveling to talent showcases uh, all over the north. She would like to wish all the other contestants good luck to have fun singing their song. Tonight, Clayton will be singing Black Velvet by Alana Miles. So Clayton is... Caitlin. Caitlin. Good evening, Roy House. How's it going? I chose to write, wear red tonight. Since we know we're all over the world, red represents missing and murdered indigenous women. This is for them. I hope you like the tune I picked out. It's one of my favorite songs. Let's go, boys.
Caitlin Francois. All right. Just to make sure that I'm uh, keeping safe here, I'll uh, get to uh, yeah, how I, I need a sanitizer here. I've been touching this fen, this pen. Anthony touched it, so I got to sanitize. All right. Okay, well, uh, Anthony is going to make a couple of announcements while I sanitize my hands, and I'll go and put, I'll go spray myself. Don't drink that stuff, boy. <laughs> Sanitizer. <laughs> anyway, a couple of announcements here while we are uh, continuing on with our talent showcase. How are you enjoying the music and the sounds of uh, people singing tonight? Excellent, eh? And I sent you guys home. I want to thank our sound technicians bringing us the good sounds and vibrations. Beatles Productions. Thank you so much. Hey, uh, all this sound equipment and the video wall that you see on the stage here, we're for hire. Lori House Cree Nation is for hire. If you want a sound system, you let us know and we'll charge you accordingly, okay? Just wanted to put a plug in there for our sound equipment and our video wall. Tomorrow morning, we have our square dance competition, but we need more teams. They only have one team for 40 plus, the adult category, three teams in the intermediate, one team for nine and 12. That's it, so there's lots of money, 16,000, 8,000, 4,000, lots of thousands. Probably have better luck winning square dance than you do bingo, okay? So form a team, 40 plus, you don't even have to dress up. Well, I shouldn't say that. You have to dress up. You have to wear clothes. You wear a white shirt and a black pants and runners to go with that. That's Nori House style. Dress clothes, guy. Tonwak. Um, next weekend in uh, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, our Nori House Bruins will be playing in the Fred Sakamus Aboriginal Hockey Tournament, the East Stanley Cup of Aboriginal Hockey. The guys are going out there next weekend to participate, and they'll be playing for our brother, our boy, Brenty, okay? So remember those guys next weekend while they're out there playing. If you're in the area, stop by. I certainly plan to be out there, take a few days off from uh, the hectic schedule that we keep. I believe the chief is also might be attending that. All right. Um, just keep losing my... Somebody hacked my Facebook here. Nah, just kidding. I don't have Facebook. So anyway, I want to thank Ken for helping us out here this evening, doing a wonderful job, keeping you occupied, keeping you thinking crazy thoughts. Uh, he's good. All right. We're going to move on. But before, I want to say hi to my daughter, Tanya, in the paw. She was in the hospital for a bit uh, with some health condition, but uh, she'll be coming back tomorrow. Drive safely, my girl. All right, once more time, here is Kenny. All right, we're moving right along here. Our next contestant is Lionel North. Lionel is from Cross Lake, Manitoba, Michigamak. He has two sons, one baby girl, and he'd like to thank his girlfriend, Alicia Ross. And uh, sister Betsy Ann Clark for sponsoring him in this talent show tonight. This will be uh, Lionel's first time competing in Trudy and York Boat Day's talent show. He'd like to thank his mom for always supporting me, him, and encouraging uh, him and always to sing. Tonight, uh, Lionel will be singing Boy, what uh, is... I'll get Lionel to uh, introduce his song. 
And this is by uh, Cashton. One, two, check. Check, check. A little more open. Hello, Nari House. That's it. I'm going to do a song by Cashton. It's called Esquess, dedicated to my daughter over there. Her name is Catherine. So I'm going to slow it down a little bit, OK? You guys enjoy this song. All right, well, uh, Lionel is uh, just uh, checking with a few minor little things. Uh, we have a lot of sponsors over here that make this event happen each and every year, except for this uh, past year. So uh, I know everybody had one whole year to practice money, one whole year to get your two vaccines. Otherwise, you get stopped over there by check stop. So did you get your uh, needles? And then Lionel North said, yes, I did. Three year cousin. Keep your mouth closed. So that's what we got to do. So uh, another thing, too, about Edward Gamblin is that he ran with uh, my brothers to uh, Ottawa just before the residential school gathering was an, uh, residential school uh, thing was announced by the government. He ran to Ottawa along with them. And one of the things that the Mohawks uh, had acknowledged that they went to New York State and they had a fast, and in their vision, they wanted an answer for residential school, and they saw wolves running from the north. But there is no such things as uh, wolves in Ottawa or in Montreal. So along comes a bunch of runners from the north saying we're running for residential school. And they were in Ottawa, I mean in uh, Kanawagi, Kanasatagi. And they had all the Mohawk chiefs, uh, they happened to be meeting, and they had a talking stick. So I wanted to acknowledge that for Edward Gamblin. Are we ready? All right, ladies and gentlemen, yes, line of order. Gonna 
guardi scatti Thank you very much, Orioles. Have a good day. All right, that was Lion. That was Lionel North. All right, I have a gift here. It says uh, KMD335, you won yourself a prize, but you have to move your vehicle in order to claim that prize. All right, so go move your vehicle, and then come over here and uh, come and claim your prize. KMD335, move your vehicle and you will win a prize and come and check it out. It's uh, hearing aids. Do not block the... <laughs> So don't block, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta make their ways around. Our uh, next contestant is uh, Wayne LaValle. Uh, he's our 10th singer, and on a 13th uh, singer, after the 13th singer, we'll take a short little break. And then there's uh, 3,000 people, so make sure you get your children to line up for you for the washroom, because it'll take a long time. All right, Wayne LaValle is from Easterville, and by way of his wife, he's coming from, uh, he met his wife uh, here from Norway House, and he came and stole her away 40 years ago while, uh, while everyone was sleeping. He enjoys coming here, and he likes singing country classic songs inspired by George Jones. I hope you like the song, and good luck to all the contestants. Wayne will be singing Window Up Above by George Jones. Hello, Norway House. Like, uh, first, uh, I'd like to thank my... Sponsor, uh, Quinton Ming back home, the new counselor. Well, I hope the, I hope the, I hope the, like your song. I believe in. I was wrong and I've been wrong from the wind. 
window of a bar From my eyes a teardrop started And I listened on and on I heard you whisper to him softly that a marriage was all wrong. And I hope you made you happy and you never lose his love. And I was wrong that I've been wrong from the window. All right, that was Wayne LaValle. We have a couple of more uh, singers to go, then we'll have a short break for uh, everybody, including yourselves. Our next contestant is Bobby Papanicus. Bobby is 27 years old from Cross Lake, Manitoba. He has two daughters and one son. Bobby liked to, uh, like to wish all the contestants good luck. Bobby will be singing, I Ain't Even Satisfied by Steve Earle. So Bobby Bapanicus is our next contestant. And then right after Bobby, it'll be Greg Fontaine, and then uh, Alistair Wienesk, and then we will take a short break after that. So uh, do you want us to uh, turn up the uh, temperatures? Are you guys a little cold? We're going to bring in some firewood and make a fire right in the middle over here. Next time, don't try and be cool coming out. There, just a, uh, 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 you're gonna put on long johns. I'm cold, where's my jacket? My coats, quickly. See, you, you gotta bring somebody to bring your jacket. Get my blanket, my pillow. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Bobby Buck. Good evening, Norway House. Man, you guys got a lot of great singers here tonight. And uh, I just want to say uh, I love you to my girlfriend, Tammy Ross. She's over here to the side of the stage and hope you guys enjoy the song. So let's give her.
got the family home I said, no thanks, Pete, I'll just move it along All right, that was Bobby Papanikas. Our next contestant is Greg Fontaine. Greg is from Norway, is a Norway House band member. Grew up back, in, uh, uh, back and forth between Norway House and Winnipeg. Used to be one of the original late night, late night radio show hosts on 97.9 FM under the radio name G-Rock. He is influenced by musical giants as Chris Cornell, Chester Bennington, and Scott Whitland, and his rock style voice. He hopes to entertain you tonight with some classic rock. Greg will be singing Old Time Rock and Roll by Bob Seeger. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, everyone. I want to say thank you to my sponsor tonight. That's uh, a really good friend and cousin of mine, April Anderson. She says, anything you sing, I'm a fan of. So thank you, April, for sponsoring me tonight. Shout out to all the people that are listening out in uh, Winnipeg, my nieces and nephews, my best friends, everyone out in OCN that's listening, Thompson, my auntie in Cross Lake, and all you lovely people out there. I can't see you because of the blinding lights, but I believe you're out there. I want to blow this roof off. I just want to have fun, and I hope you enjoy it.
All right, that was Greg Fontaine. All right, it's only uh, 10 o'clock. We still have another 12 hours to go. So everybody's nice and excited. Remember, you've been inside all year, so don't complain. All right? <laughs> everybody's happy. Uh, I can feel the energy. All right, our uh, next contestant is uh, Alistair Wienisk. Alistair is from uh, Oxford House, Manitoba. He enjoys visiting other communities. Uh, been in Norway House several times. Ed, uh, Alistair, uh, Alistair is in, uh, inspiration by, uh, from all the singers. His support comes from his family, friends, and community. He enjoys singing and has been a, uh, it's been a great journey. Tonight, Alistair is going to be singing Beautiful Lady, You're My Everything by Edward Gamblin. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening, everyone. It's been a long journey, all right, and uh, I'd like to say thank you to everybody uh, that is listening on, on the air, YouTube. And I'd like to say thank you to Oxford House that are here and uh, the Gamblin family that is here and, uh, and the chief and all the dignitaries that are here and uh, my family. My two sons, Al Jr., how are you? And Rick, love you guys. And my daughter here, my granddaughter. So, here it goes.
God bless you all. All right, that was uh, Alistair. Where's that uh, camera? Can I get that camera over here? Come close. That remote uh, camera. My, uh, two years ago, I came here with uh, my daughter, Angel. She was just walk, uh, running around, four years old, said, go. And then every once in a while, I'd scream out, Angel, where are you? And she'd come running over here. This is one of the fascinating and wonderful things about being on a reserve is like uh, you just let your uh, kids go and then they take, okay, I wanted to uh, come over on this side. So the reason why, yeah, right here, go, go, do a close-up. Do a close-up on my face. Not too close. And uh, I wanted to uh, say uh, I'm a single parent. I just wanted to announce that to the world. <laughs> All right, I'm having a great time. I'll hand over the uh, announcements to uh, Anthony. All right, thank you very much. I keep telling this guy, So, everybody enjoying the show right now? Wonderful music. Our first annual Edward Gamblin Memorial Talent Showcase. Awesome. You know what? I'm not going to tease you, Toronto Maple Leafs fans, anymore. I had to go over to the uh, little boys' room there about half an hour ago. Yep, even the little kids. Oi, don't make fun of my Toronto Maple Leafs. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Little uh, five-year-old ready to take a swipe at me. I had to hold his head like this and he's swinging away. Sorry, Mike Miswagen, Specky, Rochelle. Everybody that's got a Toronto Maple Leafs shirt on. Square dancing tomorrow morning. Registration at 10 a.m. Grand entry at 12 o'clock. Be here for registration. Uh, make up a team. There's not too many teams there tonight that have registered, so make up a team. There's lots of money to be won. We have a few more uh, guests to do. Uh, singers to do here, and uh, I'll just read out some names so that you can come to the uh, stage here to get ready. Katie Robertson, Donna Clark, Twyla McKay, Angela Budd, Farah Dixon, Adam Anderson, Jason Winter, Charlie Wienisk, Charlie Wienisk, <laughs> my bro, <laughs> Madison Winter, Juliet Simpson Hart, Cassie Cook, and Gabriel Towers. That's the uh, final lineup for this evening. You can make your way to the uh, stage and start getting prepped, start getting ready for your um, song tonight. We've added a, uh, an award here, a memorial award for the crowd favorite, and I'm glad to see that the few people or the crowd is getting into it. It's the Alex Joe Helcro Memorial Crowd Favorite Award. We're going to be awarding $500 to the winner of that award. And we've added another award, another presentation to the first place finisher. Grand Chief Dumas was here on Tuesday for our, um, for our uh, opening ceremonies, and he found out that we were having a talent showcase in memory of the late Edward Gamblin. So he said, what, what do you need, counselor? What can I give? What can I sponsor? Well, I said money, and he goes, AMC doesn't have any money. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but uh, he sent up a beautiful star blanket this evening on the plane, picked it up, it's back here. The winner of the first annual Edward Gamblin Memorial Talent Showcase will not only win, it, win the prize money, I believe it's 2,500, but we'll also give him or her a star blanket from Grand Chief Arlen Dumas. Let's give him a round of applause to Grand Chief for thinking about Edward and remembering Edward. If you know, the Grand Chiefs have a band they performed here. I'm not even sure what they're uh, called. 
I think it was at one point Bannock and Lard and uh, some kind of brothers, but I call them my brothers. Okay, wait and breeze. The other chief is here whispering in my ear. He plays ba bass on that band. So that's uh, part of our presentation tonight. Once we get the uh, winners, I want to thank all our sponsors, KSMA, Ministry Agency, Gaming Commission, Norah House Communications, Fisherman's Co-op, Northwest Company, Northern Stores, Machipanwin Program, JNR Construction, Square Dance Club, Health Center of Excellence, Manitoba Hydro, Play Green Inn, Terry Turbo, Turbo, King of Finance, Family Foods, and Frontier School Division. Thank you to our sponsors. While we're having a break, if you want to take a selfie in front of the uh, video wall, there's a, um, a really nice picture of Edward and the, uh, the uh, name of the event tonight. So go snap a couple of pictures there if you want to. It'll be good, uh, good memories. Fastball for male and female continues all weekend. The finals are scheduled for Sunday afternoon. I believe the final game is like at 5.30. Hope it doesn't rain. And we won't blame it on the rain. That's one of his uh, songs there. I tried to get somebody to sing that song, but I couldn't find anybody. But uh, we have some tribute songs going on here this evening. Really glad to see some of the young people in the crowd here and off to the side, dancing, screaming, and yelling for their favorite contestant. It's good to see. They were supported last night, and now they're back here supporting the adults. Hey, hey. So is the sound good here? Can you hear okay? Is the sound really good with our... Good. That's what we like to hear. I'm trying to think of a, you know what, believe it or not, I don't have anything else to say. Oh, boy, that's, that's, that's not right. <laughs> that's not right. Championship Sunday. We have our eight finals in the York Boat Races. That's coming up Sunday morning, and it's uh, 9 to 12, 13 to 17, and the Harry, Henry and Marianne Maminawadam uh, Memorial York, York Boat Races. The final race will be the men. I don't have a list of who's in that pool, but I know that it's uh, Mr. Tassinik uh, was one of the teams. Thomas Duncan Memorial, veteran Thomas Duncan Memorial. I believe Henry George Captain is also another team in there, and there's another team there. I don't have the list here. So this afternoon, I, was, uh, I went home a little bit early to get some rest. And my wife wasn't home. So <laughs> I'm calling her, calling her. She's not answering. She finally answered and said, where have you been? I guess she jumped on a team there with the uh, co-ed non-professional races. So uh, I said, well, did you win? And she goes, yep, I'm a champion. Okay, right on, my wife. But ever since you've married me, you've been the champion. <laughs> She's probably going to beat me up by saying that. I might not live to see our 30th anniversary coming up August 16th. Hey, that's a milestone for me. That's no applause, thank you. No mercy applause, thank you. <laughs> okay, so uh, as we get ready to continue on with our talent showcase here, can we get... Um, Katie Robertson, Donna Clark, Twyla McKay, Angela Budd, Vera Dixon, Adam Anderson, Jason Winter, Charlie Wienes, Madison Winter, Juliet Simpson Hart, Cassie Cook, and Gabriel Towers. That'll round up our lineup for tonight. Shortly after that, we'll get all the uh, points tallied up and award some big money. Lots of money to be won here tonight. 
It's uh, one of the biggest talent showcases around anywhere in Manitoba, and uh, we're always very good hosts, and we try to do everything the right way, and so far, so good. First prize is 2,500 bucks. Second is 2,000. Third is 15. Fourth is 1,000. Fifth is 900. Sixth is 800. Seventh is 700. And eighth is $600. That's the price structure for this evening. And I want to thank uh, Norway House Communications for donating the prize money and being the main sponsor of this Edward Gamblin Memorial Talent Showcase this evening. So that's uh, what the prize structure looks like. Reminder again, uh, Brady Keeper will be in Norway House tomorrow afternoon at lunch, 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock. For about three hours, he'll be doing some uh, PR, public relations out there for, for the NHL hockey, NHL hockey league. So uh, Brady, I believe, is signed with the Vancouver Canucks now. So uh, no longer a Florida Panther, but a Vancouver Canuck. He's come home to Canada to play. Congratulations to Brady. I believe he's playing ball tonight. That's what somebody told me, but uh, wasn't too sure where he was, uh, which team he was playing for. So we'll do our uh, call-in to the band. If you can make your way to the stage now, and we'll uh, start with our contestants and try and finish off in a reasonable amount of time. We're not broadcasting on the NCI network this year. We're broadcasting through our radio station, 97.9, and the YouTube channel, Norway House Communications. So call your friends, text them, tell them that we're live, live on Friday night here in Norway House. I'd give you my phone number, but then everybody would start calling me. Well, everybody does that anyway, so. 359-5008, 359-5008, yes, did as fast as I could so nobody would pick it up. Or you can phone Chief Larson Anderson, 301, nah, just kidding. <laughs> believe uh, the counselors and the Chief are present, they're going to come and help with the uh, presentations after. We'll also get uh, the host, uh, not the host, but the uh, sponsor to help out and couple of members of the family. I'll find out who's here and we'll bring him up. I thought I saw Beverly out there. So we'll, uh, we'll get them involved too. Again, the Alex Joe Haltrow Memorial Crowd Favorite Award. You're the judges, you select that winner. Okay, it's $500. And the uh, winner of the Edward Gamblin Talent Memorial Talent Showcase will also win a star blanket donated by Grand Chief Arlen Dumas. Grand Chief Garrison said, said he hasn't called me at all. I must have got him mad. Hmm. He better forgive me because there's a MKO elections happening in Norway House uh, August 16th. Is that right? August 16th to the 19th. The uh, MKO elections um, AGM are happening here in Norway House. Might have some entertainment. I, I don't know who's working on that, but I, I heard that they might be having an entertainment. They go see to Facebook. Oh yeah, speaking of Facebook, there was a uh, news conference on Tuesday morning. Was it Tuesday morning, Chief? When the uh, minister, Vandel, announced the fiber project is going to go ahead for Cross Lake and Norway House in the joint partnership. So that's excellent news. We'll have faster fiber, a lot more space on the internet, a lot more space on Facebook and everything else. It'll, it'll be good. Six months to a year. So that's good news, especially with the uh, Health Center of Excellence coming online sometime next year, I believe in November, something like that. So we need all that uh, broadband width to uh, make it function properly. All right, calling the band. Call up number two for the band. We're gonna get going here. It is now 10.25. 
I'm trying to finish 1025 next year, next tomorrow. Hmm. We're gonna put uh, little beepers on these guys here, so just, I'll just push a button and they'll get a zap and head to the stage. Okay, looks like they're um, making their way to their designated area and their designated spot. Okay, let's practice those lungs before our next contestant comes up. Let me hear you. One, two, three. Oh, you know what? It's dark out there. Nobody will see you yell and scream. Let's do that one more time. One, two, three. Oh, there we go. That's better. Awesome. Hey, I also want to thank our production crew here. Not only do we have good audio, but we have good video. Our uh, production crew from communications department are manning and womanning the cameras so uh, you guys can watch on stage or on the big screen. That'd be a good place to watch the Toronto Maple Leafs win the Stanley Cup, eh? Set that up in the auditorium. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> we all can take our time on that one. <laughs> Ah, uh, Anthony, settle down. All right, let's get our crowd back in here, and you guys ready to go here? All right. Okay, call out to the contestants one more time. Katie Robertson, you're first. Donna Clark, Twyla McKay, Angela Budd, Farrah Dixon, Adam Anderson, Jason Winter, Charlie Wienesk, Madison Winter, Juliet Simpson Hart, Cassie Cook, and Gabriel Towers. You should be in the holding area here right now because we're gonna call you up, and if you're not here, we're gonna call you up one more time. And if you're not here, good night. Didn't, shouldn't waste your rehearsals. Just get up here, drop what you're doing. We have like three contestants up here, so come on up here. Come up here, the singers. One more time. Katie Robertson, Donna Clark, Twyla McKay, Angela Budd, Farrah Dixon, Adam Anderson, Jason Winter, Charlie Wienesk, Madison Winter, Juliet Simpson Hart, Cassie Cook, and Gabriel Towers. Astame, come on up here, please, so we can uh, get the show back on the road here and uh, get these guys working. Okay, as we continue on with our first annual Edward Gamblin. Memorial Talent Showcase. Our next contestant is Katie Robertson. Katie is 18 years old from Nori House, just finished high school. Katie always participated in many talent shows, but this year will be the first time participating in the adult category. She started singing at a very young age and doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. She would like to wish all the contestants good luck. Tonight, Katie will be singing a song by Sarah Evans called A Little Bit Stronger. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Katie Robertson. Good evening, everyone.
Robertson! Awesome job. Thank you so much, Katie. Graduated from the youth category last year into the adult. Excellent job. Good start on your singing career in the adult category. For the Brady Keeper three-on-three -three ball hockey tournament tomorrow, happening at, down the bank here at 1 p.m., we have another donation of $300 from Thompson Ford. Thank you, Thompson Ford. Let's see a round of applause for a sponsor. I shouldn't have announced my phone number. My phone is just lighting up here. I don't have time to uh, read every message. But thank you uh, to all the listeners out there that are listening in on our radio station and the YouTube channel. You're missing out, right, people? All right. I just got to keep this rolling here. Our next contestant is Donna Clark. Donna is from Norrie House. She's been married for 28 years, started singing at age seven. Reason why she chose the song she's singing is because I like the song. Tonight, Donna will be singing a tune by Willie Nelson on Shania Twain called Blue Eyes Crying in the Rain. Let's make welcome Donna Clark.
It happens. Thank you very much, Donna Clark. Give her a round of applause. Takes a lot of courage to be up here singing. But I wish the band wouldn't have stopped. I was going to finish the song. Ah, just kidding. Guys are looking at me. What? You won't please? <laughs> All right. We're going to move right along here. Our next contestant is Twyla McKay. Twyla is happily ma a happily married woman from Cross Lake. One beautiful daughter named Nyla. <laughs> Nyla? Nala. Nala. Thank you. This song is going out to her family and friends back home in Cross Lake. Tonight, Twyla will be singing a song by Miranda Lambert called More Like You. Make welcome, Twyla McKay. Hello, Nori House. Good to be back. Haven't been here for a long time. So this song is going out to you. I just want to say hi to my girl and my husband back home watching on YouTube. Hope you guys enjoy. She don't let go of anything Even when the pain gets really bad I guess I should have been more like that You had it all For a pretty little while And somehow Should I? Thank you very much, Twyla. Job well done. Excellent tune. We have a couple of messages coming through here. Uh, one was from uh, Clarissa Ross. She's always an entertainer here, but she's not feeling well, but she's listening on the YouTube channel. She says, excellent job, Nori House, as usual. Thank you very much, Clarissa. Give her a round of applause. We have fans out there. 
Greg Personius is also listening in OCN. Hello there, Greg. Don't come back. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we'll say welcome back when you're here. Greg has always been a performer here. He's a good guy, one of the good guys. Okay, moving right along, our next contestant is Angela Budd. Angela is 34 years old from Nori House, been singing since she was 16 years old, three beautiful children, and a supportive partner, Joey. She would like to dedicate her song to her late dad, Kenneth Budd, as his fourth memorial is next week. Anytime she performs, she always has her dad in her heart. Tonight, Angela will be singing a song by Donna Taggart called Jealous of the Angels. Make welcome, Angela Budd. Whoa, it's bright up here. <laughs> I just want to dedicate this song to my babies. Usually when I sing, they're sitting right in front of me, dancing away. But this one's a bit of a slow song, and I, I want to dedicate it to my dad. It'll be uh, four years next week that we lost him to cancer. And also, I want to say hi to my mom at home. She's one of my biggest fans, and she's always listening on the radio. <laughs> scary up here. I hope you guys enjoy this song.
Angela Budd, ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause one more time. Nailed that, yes. Okay, our next contestant is Farah Dixon. Farah is 19 years old from Norrie House Cree Nation. Been performed in many talent showcases in the last few years. This is her second year of university at the University College of the North. Looking forward to become an educator or an entrepreneur in the future. Her inspiration for music comes from artists such as Alicia Keys, Adele, and Etta James. Sarah would like to wish all the contestants good luck tonight. Farah will be performing a song by Leanne Warmack called I Hope You Dance. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Farrah Dixon.
Farrah Dixon. Job well done. Excellent song. I hope you dance. I want to say hi to uh, Brittany Kozak, listening all the way from Fort McMurray, Alberta. Let's say hi to Brittany, all the way in Alberta. Who else said hi here? Duke Beardy is in the crowd somewhere. Welcome, Duke, from Split Lake. Duke is always here. Also, a uh, good friend of ours in OCN, Lapu. What's Lapu's real name? Dave. Dave Cook. Dave Cook says hi from OCN. He's always here helping out this year due to medical reasons. Uh, Dave Lapu. All the best in, his, uh, in the future. Okay, our next contestant is Adam Anderson. Adam is from Norrie House. He's 20 years old. Started singing in 2015. His mother inspired him to sing and be honest. He performed around seven or eight talent shows. Tonight, Adam will be singing a song by ZZ Top, Sharp Dressed Man. Let's make welcome Adam Anderson. Disappeared on me. I guess I can be the sharp dressed man here, eh? <laughs> hey, calling once, Adam. All right, he's here now, so we'll just keep talking and give him an opportunity to take a breath and uh, get set up and put his mind to the song. Thank you to all the participants of our annual treaty and York Boat Days for the York Boat races, the ball tournaments, the singing competitions, the jigging, the, the square dancing, the adult and children's events, very well attended. And of course, I want to say thank you to uh, Bruce Falster. He's our cameraman. So the guy posted a picture of me and the two um, boys here on, on Tuesday dancing. And then he put, Anthony Apitagan will be going on tour with the boys. I'm going, I'm not going on tour with anybody. <laughs> He's trying to make me join these guys from Pakitawagan. I'm an Apitaigan, not a Pakitawagan. <laughs> all right. Nope, you're on that side, Adam. Get them all hooked up here. Got an electric guitar and sharp dressed young man. Again, I'll ask you, to invite you to uh, our supper Sunday afternoon after the closing ceremonies. Ribs, beans, bannock, and lard. That's the menu. Bannock and lard. I thank Hattie Monias and their gang there for feeding us all this week and the coming days. It's going to be a real good. Yeah, we love Hattie. So she tried to retire about three years ago, and we had to convince her to come back. I paid her a visit this morning at the uh, cookout there while there was uh, some time just to talk to her. And she talked about a few things, which I can't, of course. But one of the things she talked about was, Anthony, I said, Hattie, don't do that. You're going to be cooking for us for a very, very long time. And I hope she does because we love her bannock, we love her beans, we, we love her eggs, we love everything she cooks. All right. Thank you, Hattie. Let's give her a round of applause for her hard work and her gang. Okay, Mr. Anderson, are you ready to rock and roll? My guitar's not on. <laughs> guitar's not on. You got no sound coming out of your guitar, eh? Come on, skills. There you go. You got to step on heck? that thing. It's not even this short. I mean, it's not even overdrive yet.
Okay, Adam is adjusting his guitar pedal. Hopefully he's got it now. Step on it. Step on the pedal. Okay, that guitar is out of the way. <sighs> okay, take it away. Might as well. <laughs> Screw you, guitar. <laughs> Sharp dressed man, Adam Anderson, rocking with the boys tonight. Let's have a round of applause for our band, doing an excellent job. Good beats there, boys. Good beats, Adam, boys. All right, we're going to quickly move along here. Our next contestant is Jason Winter. Jason has been in the community of Nori House for 14 years, is home away from home, enjoys music as a part-time, but luckily has an everyday job managing your local northern store. Tonight, Jason will be singing a song by Luke Combs called One Too Many. Let's make welcome Mr. Jason Winter. Thank you, folks. That song sounded very familiar. <laughs> How many country fans we got out there tonight? More importantly, how many of y'all lack an ice-cold beer? 
Well, this song's going out to you. Well, I got a call from Rowdy around six o'clock singing he caught a hanger for a honky Wants a nice cold beer and a country song But he didn't want to stay out all night long well, I ain't the kind to let a buddy drink alone But I can't turn it off once I turn it on There's no stopping me once I get going Put a can in my hand and I'm wide ass open The tick-tock of that clock and I can tie Countdown's on when the first beer hits me. Five, four, three, two, one, too many. After five dive millers, I was feeling loose. Singing karaoke to a TLT. When a pretty little thing shot me a wink, she said, Hey, cowboy, could you buy us a drink? Well, hey, baby doll, I will if you want, but I can't turn it off once I turn it on. There's no stopping me once I get going. Put a can in my hand, man, I'm wide ass so The tick tock of that clock is like a time bomb. Too warm, too many. Come on! I've never been the kind of quit won't stop till I get to the bottom of this, and the night's still young. So what you say? We shot. One. Nori House, you all want a shotgun one with me tonight? Here's to ya! There's no stopping me once I get to going. The can in my hand, man, I'm wide as a kick off girl that clock like a time bomb. I have past ten, I'm half past ten. A quarter to twelve, man, I done have money. Countdown song when the first beer hits me. Five, four, three, two, one, two. One too many. Come on, that's a country song right there. Thank you. Now, before Anthony gets real mad at me, I want to let everybody know non alcohol beer. You don't need alcohol to have fun, folks, and I just had a blast. Thank you. Mr. Jason Winter, a regular Luke Holmes, this guy. And kids, he's talking about root beer. All right? <laughs> yeah, you're lucky that wasn't real beer, man. Your 14 years would have been come and gone very fast. <laughs> and I can make that happen. <laughs> uh, Jason, that was an awesome song. He told me he was going to do something crazy on stage tonight, but that was really good. <laughs> Don't expect that kind of uh, beat happening on this stage, but hey, it's all in good fun. Like he said, you don't need beer to have fun, right? Okay. I don't even know what beer is. So I won't talk about my past because I'll be standing here all night. <laughs> okay. Speaking of root beer, 
Our next contestant is Charlie Wienesk. Charlie's from Nori House. He likes singing all kinds of music. Music is his life and always be. Tonight, Charlie will be singing a song by Hank Williams Jr. called The Blues Man. Mr. Charlie Wienesk. Yes, Sheila. You're running away with, uh, with Jason Winter? Well, try and do it in private and secretly so nobody else hears you. Rita will be waiting at the tent entrance with a, and jump you. <laughs> okay, my friend, are you ready to sing your song? All right, Mr. Charlie Wienus. Oh, good evening, everybody. Try this. Uh, my name is Bucifas. No, I, that's, that's the person that sings that song. It's called uh, Blues Man. I was going to sing a bingo song, but uh, I decided not to. Just a singer, natural born guitar ringer, kind of a clean sad old song. I walked up behind, I'm new to find but my name did remind. Of a blues man already gone. I started drinking. Look, something missed my thinking. Stuck it out. 
Charlie Wienersk, bluesman. Let me tell you something about this guy. We have a little band called Mama We Ma Mishimata. We play gospel music every Monday night, wakes, funerals, wherever we need it. Charlie comes along and plays. But here's my observation of the band. All of a sudden, they'll disappear, and I'll find them eating in the kitchen or somewhere else. So I have a new name for the Mama We Ma Mishimata band. I call them the Mamoi Mitsutag Band. <laughs> They're good guys, uh, but they love to eat. Give them a round of applause for helping out in our uh, times of bereavements. Really good guys. I'm going to read off a couple of uh, announcements here. And finally, somebody turned me on on the main front here. We have a, a message from uh, Saskatchewan. Carmel, Carmel Scott from Costley couldn't make it to Norios this year. Hello to my family in Nori House. Good luck to all the singers missing the stage. That's uh, Carmel Scott from Saskatchewan. We also have a greeting coming from Holly Klein in Grand Center, Alberta. Let's say hi to Holly all the way in Alberta. <laughs> Joanne York would like to say hi to her traditional sister, Audrey Wilson, she's on a road traveling with her mom to the Pa OCN. Missing you as always, sis, from Joanne. Just one more here, a message from <laughs> one of my girls, I call them. Hi, Anthony, good to see you. Miss you all watching here at home in Winnipeg. It's Flo, Flo Wilson. Mr. Stale Voice, LOL. Hey. Ever sick. <laughs> Ever sick. By the way, where the heck is Don Bernstick these days? We should try and bring that guy up again and uh, make him ever sick here in Nori House. All right, we got a few more contestants to go. Our next contestant is Madison Winter, 19 years old, living in Nori House since she was six years old. Madison studying to be a nursing at the University of Manitoba. Recently had a baby girl. This is her first time singing in the Adult Talent Showcase. Wishes all the other contestants good luck tonight. Tonight, Madison will be singing a song by Andre Waters called Proud Mary. Let's make welcome Madison Winter. So how, how's your evening, everybody? Ah, you guys can be louder than that, come on!
Excellent, Madison Winter, Proud Mary. Oh, late Edward used to sing that song, but a little more CCR style. <laughs> that was pretty good. Right on. Uh, this uh, getting down to our last three contestants here. So I just wanted to read a couple of uh, text messages that I received. Sorry, it was Flow Crate. I, I messed up again. Flow Crate said hello. And uh, a shout out to Neo in South Africa. There's actually a person listening in South Africa. Let's say hello. All right. Woo. We're worldwide, man. That's all it's all about. I'd like to do a shout out to Joan Saunders, Sarah Scott, and to Cross Lake Beautiful Aunties and my beautiful aunties in Nori House. Also, also to my sister Beth Sian and my father Glenn Scott. Like I said, thank you. That was a message that came through, and um, now I know why Don Burnstick is not hanging around anymore. Marianne Chubb sent me this text, and I'm going to read it so I don't get blamed for it. Don Burnstick got married and is now whipped. <laughs> <laughs> Does that really happen when you get married? I've been married 30 years now in August 16th. I'm still pretty uh, free and wild. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I better quit while I'm ahead or I won't see my 30th anniversary. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, Don Bernstick is whipped ever sick. <laughs> Oh, hey. Anyway, I'm going to get this young man to finish off the show. I'm going to go and get ready here for the uh, awards presentation. I'd like to introduce our, uh, reintroduce our co-host of the evening, Kenny. Kenny from Pocket the Wagon. Come up here and finish off the uh, last three contestants. It's been a pleasure, as always, talking to you. Thank you so much for being so enthusiastic tonight and yelling and screaming for all the contestants. One more time, one more big yell for our contestants and our band. One, two, three. Hey, right on. All right, Kenny, Kenny from Pucketawagan, finish off the show. All righty. Okay, I got a couple of texts as well, not just him. I got a text here from, uh, from the White House. Joe Biden is, uh, I'm in my living room here at the White House. I couldn't wait for you to get back on the screen. I missed listening to you. Also got another one here from Barack Obama. You're doing a great job. Can't wait for the border to open. I'll invite you to the White House along with Joe Biden. We'll have some coffee. So that's my text. All right, our next contestant is Juliet Simpson Hart. Juliet is 20 years old from Norway House, Queen Nation. She'll be going to college at Red River in September. She hopes to get into natural resources. She started singing on the stage at the age of 15. Singing karaoke with my family at a young age inspired me to get into singing. Juliet will be singing, You Can't Let Go Now Daddy by uh, Crystal Shawanda. Ladies and gentlemen, Crystal Simpson Hart.
Juliet Simpson Hart. I want to, uh, can you come and, come and check my uh, forehead and bring my coffee? I get, uh, McDonald's coffee. All right, our next contestant is Cassie Cook. Cassie is 22 year old uh, mother of two beautiful children, Benjamin and Charlotte. Cassie is from OCN and has close, close family in Cross Lake and Lynn Lake. She's dedicated this song to her mom, Leslie Cook, who is less currently in the Health Science Center in Winnipeg. Love you, mom. Get better soon. Sending loves and greetings from her. Uh, Siblings and family in Inn Lake and family in Cross Lake, Cassie will be singing Always Remember Us This Way by Lady Gaga. Hello, everyone. Just want to say hi to my kids in the audience and a shout out to all my friends in Inn Lake. Oh, yeah. Hi, Arnold. <laughs> sky burning in my eyes
All right, that was Cassie Cook, and my name is Ken Biggity. <laughs> All right, our final contestant for tonight and this evening in this wonderful talent show that we have here in the York Boat Days in Norway House is Gabriel Towers. Gabriel is from Norway House, Manitoba, and today is his birthday. He loves to play volleyball and just started rowing this year. Tonight, Gabriel will be singing My Way by Frank Sinatra. Um, I'd like to uh, shout out my dad in heaven and my beautiful mother, my beautiful girlfriend, my brothers watching, and my nephew. And all my family in uh, Winnipeg and all my friends coming out here to support me tonight. And, uh, yeah, it's my second time on stage. Thank you. Okay, that was our final contestant, uh, Gabriel Towers. And now the judges have tabulated their scores. Uh, they have, uh, I think, 25 or three pages of, uh, of uh, co uh, collecting scores, points, everything from hairstyle to where your fingers were placed in a 90-degree angle as you were singing, the way you were poised, Execution, style, grace, all that stuff. So that's what you got to do when you're up here singing, when you're taking a shower, when you're dancing, it all comes into place. <laughs> so you got to do that when you're singing up here, so you got to practice. Today you just got to, I am such a sexy man. I am the most gorgeous man. I like that, see? So that's what, that's what you got to do. I'm single. Okay, I'll hand it over to Anthony. Oh, he's going to go one more time. All right, the rules say you got to uh, do it one more time. So Clayton Ross. Sorry, wrong person. Gabriel Towers. All right, I like that. All right, Gabriel Towers. My Way by Frank Sinatra. I'm sorry. I'm really nervous. 
Remember, there's three beats between every time you sing. Okay? Gabe Towers, our final contestant of the Edward Gamblin Memorial Talent Showcase here in Norrie House, Manitoba. Give yourselves a round of applause for being a beautiful, loud audience. Hey, hey! Wow, that was a good show, eh? Really good show. We're going to uh, do something here while the band... Uh, Derek, are you able to come up right away? Derek Dick, Astum, Reputs. We're going to do a song here that uh, we're, we're going to get the band to work a little overtime there, guys. How about a round of applause for the band here? These guys are awesome. Really good. Really good. <laughs> I'll introduce the boys in the band here. On drums, Mr. Jeff Leard, excellent drummer. On keyboards, Craig Wilson. On bass guitar, Chief Leroy Constant. On lead guitar, our brother, Kevin Cockle. Our other lead guitar and fiddle player, Mr. Ryan Doust. On acoustic and vocals, Mr. Clayton Dow's Highway Boys. Also, I want to say a big shout out, a thank you to our technicians, Beatles Productions, Glenn Ranville, Jamie Cook, Skills, Zach Dumas. Vince Constant and Aaron Simaganis, all the way from Saskatchewan. Thank you, guys. 
I don't have the name of the uh, TV production guys, but I think they're two young men or Falster boys, right? Brothers. I forgot your name, so thank you guys, our production crew. Austin back over there uh, managing the switch thingy. So uh, you know what? It takes a whole team to pull this off. Maureen and her three students, her two students there, they did an excellent job of coordinating our youth and adult talent showcase. Round of applause for our youth and our coordinator, Maureen Muskego. Thank you so much. And of course, our host, co-host for tonight, Kenny from Puckettawagan. Good job there, Kenny. And his brother, Kelsey. And his other brother, Anthony. <laughs> Boo. Oh, you know what? Is it 12 o'clock already? What's eh? We have a birthday girl in the crowd. Sheila Watercheeks. I mean, Sheila Crane. Celebrating a birthday today. I am going to sing you a happy birthday because Jason was drinking non-alcoholic beer on my stage. All right, everybody. Sheila. This is for Sheila. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sheila. Happy birthday to you. Hey, thank you, Sheila. Glenn Ranville has a birthday gift for you. Go and kiss him before you take off tonight. Glenn Ranville loves you, not Jason. <laughs> Glenn, oh, I'm going to shut your mic off. Nate. You want me to drum? Hey, we're going to do a song here. Uh, Derek is going to sing Sloop John B, and I've been invited to play the drums. Why not, eh? Oh, I'm a bit of a band hall drummer. Well, hello everyone. Uh, once again, my name is uh, Derek Dick. I've been here since Monday. I was actually uh, doing some entertainment. Uh, I play with the uh, Dick Brothers Band. Uh, we had a good time here on Monday, and uh, it's been a great uh, uh, York Boat Treaty days. Uh, I've just been helping out here and there, just with music and and stuff like that. And uh, we used to actually the Dick Brothers. We used to uh, play with uh, Edward Gamblin back in the day. We did some shows with them and. Uh, just like, uh, just like uh, Speck said there, he was very uh, influential um, when it came to music. Uh, he really guided us a lot. Uh, he showed me a lot of things uh, just when I was starting out. And uh, it was always fun uh, being with him, you know. He always had, uh, had some funny stuff to say and uh, it was just good to be with and uh, really miss him. I remember uh, him saying that uh, he was going to play right until he couldn't play no more, and that's what he did. Music was, uh, was part of his life, and uh, very happy to be here to be part of the showcase. So, uh, Edward, here's a song here for you.
that song in a while, but that was, uh, that was for you, uh, late great Edward Gamblin. Eddie Van Gamblin, that's what we used to call him. All right, Eddie. We also want to thank uh, Kraft Dinner for making our lunches really fast. And Burns Bologna. <laughs> All right, good job there, boys. A little tribute to late Edward. Uh, Derek, thank you. Thank you, boys, for letting me sit in there and bang away on these drums. Excellent. Oh, that was fun. I'll get them in a lip on. So we'll ask the chief and the council. Specky, you're up here. Um, to, on a, if there's any members of the Gamblin family here, I can't see you. Please come on up if uh, Joyce or Beverly will award the prize money here. We'll get Maureen to bring up the... Oh, there you are, Maureen. Everybody have fun tonight? Yeah. It was a great evening. Hey, we have some very beautiful talent in northern Manitoba. Just trying to clear the stage here a little bit so we can... Uh, Get some photo opportunities. Guys, want to grab the mic? Everybody listening in Radio Land on U YouTube channel, thank you for listening. Got a lot of good compliments on my phone. I wasn't unable to read all of them. So we have Beverly Gamblin, a nice lady who gave me this beautiful jacket. I love this jacket. I only wear it for special occasions. Chief Larson Anderson, Councillor Dion Clark, Councillor James Dixon, Councillor Langford Saunders, and worst Councillor Darlene. How do you guys like the show, gentlemen? Awesome, hey, yeah, right on. We'll have to invite these guys back to the uh, band here. Thank you, Kenny and Kelsey. Kenny and Kelsey from Pagetawagan for entertaining us. Come here, let, come and be acknowledged here, guys. Don't be shy. Don't be a Don Bernstick and be whipped. <laughs> right on, brother. Thank you. Thank you, my man. Apparently, I'm joining these guys on the, two, on the road here. They're going to call me Anthony Pagitawagan, not Anthony Apitagan. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. These guys will never let me down. Beverly, do you want to say a few words? Thank you to the participants. Come on up here, my friend. Well, it was a good show for my late brother. He was a humble man. You know those songs that... I want to go home. Do you ever listen to those songs? Like he wants to go home. Well, he's home now in heaven. Right? <laughs> Love you, brother. Think of you all the time. Thank you. Thank you, Beverly. Yes, we had a fan up in, there, up in heaven here looking down on us, watching. Edward is up there playing music with the heavenly choir, right? Singing lead. So, um, you know, uh, sometimes you get a little emotional when things are completed. This is one of these times. But you know what? Thank you to the people that support, continue to support Aboriginal music. Our kids, our young ladies, our young gentlemen, our older guys. Thank you so much. You guys make it happen. Round of applause for yourselves. I think I was doing almost a John Travolta dance here. <laughs> All right, Maureen, come on up here, Maureen. Don't be shy. You're going to be singing Coal Miner's Daughter next year. <laughs> okay, how do we want to do this? You want a crowd favorite? Crowd favorite? Okay, we're going to do the crowd favorite here. It's in memory of our late brother in music, Alex Joe Haltro. We had permission from the Tilda to, to present this award. I'm gonna ask uh, Specky and Ryan, is he still around? To present this award. They spent a lot of time together. They played music on the road and uh, 
The winner will get a nice plaque, Norway House Cree Nation Treaty and York Boot Days, Edward Gamblin Memorial Open Singing Showcase. It's got our logo on it. Alex Joe Halcro, crowd favorite, 2021. Along with that comes a $500 prize. So thank you, audience, for selecting the winner. And this year's recipient, come on up here, boys. Let's get the highway guys to uh, help out here. The first recipient, winning $500, a nice plaque, Juliet Simpson Hart. <laughs> Juliet Simpson Hart. We'll get these guys to present this to the young lady. Come on up here, Juliet. She did an awesome job. Did a song by Crystal Shawanda. Name of the song is You Can Let Go Now, Daddy. I have money in my pocket now. <laughs> oh, where's this young lady? All right, Juliet. He's a very humble young lady. Got to know her in the last little while. And very beautiful young lady, beautiful voice. $500 and a nice plaque. You really want to do that and spoil the picture with these <laughs> ugly guys there? <laughs> no, just kidding. Thank you, Julia. The first winner, Alex Johalko Memorial Crowd Favorite Award. Thank you, boys. Okay. Sure. I want to also thank Caitlin Francois for singing Black Velvet. If a lot of you were around when AJ was setting up, that was his song that he did sound with. So thank you, Caitlin. Yeah, I remember that lady that came in here. What's the artist's name? What was the artist's name that sang Black? Alana Miles. Alana Miles. We had her up here at the concert. Almost drove me crazy. She was climbing the speakers and doing all kinds of crazy things. Never invited her back. <laughs> I got no crazy people to deal with. <laughs> all right, what do we do here? Eighth place, Edward Gamblin Memorial, winning $600, 235 points. Caitlin Francois. Caitlin. Come on up here, Caitlin. $800. Thank you to the Norway House Co-op Fishermen. Nor Norway House Fishermen's Co-op. <laughs> Norway House Co-op Fishermen. Huh? What did I say? Oh, it's 600, sorry. Eight place, so is it? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> sorry, I made a mistake and I'm not giving it out of my own mind. Thank you there, Caitlin. Okay, let's do this right. You guys keep quiet. You're messing me up here. <laughs> I got to blame somebody. That's Langford again. <laughs> In seventh place, $700, 245.5 points, Allison King. Lots of money here, lots of money. Everybody, just about everybody got paid tonight. Thank you to the judges. We forgot to thank the judges. Janice, Hector, and Derek. You had, guys had a real tough job to do tonight, and thank you so much. Thank you there. In uh, sixth place, winning $800. 246 points, Angela Budd. Angela Budd, you win yourself $800. To all the winners, there's much upon win bingo tomorrow. Cards are 200 something. <laughs> Get our money back somehow. <laughs> all right.
not here. Fifth prize, $900, 246.5 points, Twyla McKay, $900. Twyla. All right. Thank you, Twyla. Long time no see. Really glad you came. Legacy. Fourth prize, $1,000, 257 points, Greg Fontaine, Greg Fontaine. From here on in, the prize money goes up another $500. So Greg Fontaine, Oh, there he comes. What did he sing? Good time rock, old time rock and roll, eh? Aha, uh -huh, a boy. Old time rock and roll guy. Thank you there, Greg. $1,000. Thank you. You should have backed me up on that. Should have backed you up? You probably wouldn't have won if I was drumming. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Third prize, $1,500. Ooh. 263 points. Katie Robertson, $1,500. Katie. Robertson, there is she coming. There you go. First time in the adult category, right, Katie? Right over there. Thank you, Katie. All right. Second prize, $2,000. 266 points. Juliet Simpson Hart, second place. That's second prize, second place. All right. Juliet, where are you? All right, here's Juliet. Good job. We'll get a video shot, they'll do a still after. Okay? <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Juliet. Okay, we're gonna, uh, before we present the award for uh, first place, Chief Henderson, closing remarks. Well, that was fun. Um, you know, we've really enjoyed every singer. Um, you know, each one of those we've seen grow up and take something or show us something special. Um, so getting York Boat Days back on track is, uh, is looking good. Um, you know, stopping for the year and, and trying to get it, get it geared up again, it's, uh, it's a little difficult, but, you know, the talent was amazing. Um, you know, we... We certainly missed it, um, so I'm really glad to have been able to come and enjoy the music. Um, I toughed it out listening to Anthony, but it was it was it was okay. 
<laughs> it's funnier than yesterday. But I love this jacket. Holy smoke. <laughs> you should jig. Anyway, um, so Naskavan is a Hispanic. It depends on the way you go. It in Imanak, mean our neighbors across uh, Lake. So I'm looking really looking forward to doing this again next year and making it better again. So I guess God bless. Thank you, Chief. You guys want to say something or are you going to sing a song? Okay, harmonize rivers of Babylon. Uh, <laughs> All right, come on, quickly, guys. Say good night to your people. Good night. Uh, it was a good, uh, good concert again tonight. I'm glad all the contestants did their best. It was a very good show. I enjoyed every one of you that came up here to sing. You have a lot of courage. You have a lot, a lot of guts to come up here. And God bless you. I can say I'm very happy to be here this evening to to take in the uh, talent show. Very awesome singers. Uh, I couldn't have done it better myself. <laughs> I did it my way. I got to say, good night. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. And it's, uh, this is the second night of entertainment. Very awesome. Good job to everybody. Um, tomorrow, square dancing. Free breakfast tomorrow. You know, um, <laughs> It's a late night again, but uh, thank you for being here. Thank you, Good night. Thank you, counselor guys. Job well done. Thank you for being here. All right, the moment everybody's been waiting for. Our first winner in the Edward Gamble Memorial Talent Showcase 2021 with 268.5 points. Very close, winning $2,500. Farrah Dixon! Farrah Dixon, come on up here. $2,500. Thank you, Fisherman Co-op, for your generous donation. Made a lot of singers happy tonight. There's Farrah. Kind of froze. Kind of froze up. Thank you so much. One more time, Farrah Dixon. I go send out ten magawani as a guest tag tonight. Tomorrow morning, square dancing. 10 a.m. registration, grand entry at 12. Good night, everybody, and God bless you all. Legos